everyone, Jade Spansel here bringing you yet another video. In today's video, we are testing out Walmart's premium wigs, whatever that means. <laughs> this is what I got. It is the Premium Natural Long Wavy Wig. Look at her. I wonder if the color matches the color on the box. Well, I bought two of them and I can tell you right now, it doesn't. <laughs> So we're gonna try this wig out and see if we can make something super wearable and drag out of it. So let's unbox this one for you on camera. Thank you. Pull it right, ow, ow. This is why I unboxed it previously before this, okay. It's rather painful to do otherwise. It's very plat. Okay, there we go. All right, let's take it out. Good Lord, it's like unboxing something from Radio Shack. This is our wig inside of a wig cap. Let's take it off. And va va boom. Actually, the curls are kind of cute in this. All right, let's put her on our wig head. Okay, let's just see which wig is better, and then that'll be the deciding factor of what I do with this wig. These ones' curls on the bottom are kind of dodgy, so I actually want to do a ponytail with this. So I'm gonna save the pretty one for the ponytail, and we're gonna do the ugly one on the bottom. So here we go. Let's take this one off and we're gonna start teasing out the ugly one. All right, let's put it on the wig head. Oh God, this one is really gross looking. <laughs> All right, let's put it down and we're gonna assess our situation here. Now looking at it, it does not have ear tabs whatsoever. And the back is, the tracks stop at a certain point and you just have hairnet left after that. So we're gonna have to work around a lot of the stuff. So. Let's pin it down and get it stretched out as much as possible. I can kind of see where I want to put markings for where the hairline's going to be. So what I'm going to do to do that is I'll take little pins and just stick them right here. That way I know where to stop with my rooted hairline. Those are our markers for where we want to stop our hairline when we start teasing it out. And do you like my hair? It's the same hair I wore in the Sasha Banks video, only I teased it out and styled it. It is the color Shapeshifter from James Mansfield Beauty. <gasps> hey, that's me. Oh my gosh. Look at the fun, funky things you can do with this hair. <laughs> I got a little crazy one night and decided to like do a bunch of like barrel curls to it. I'm loving it. Now, let's get back to her there, okay? Now let's make sure the back is secured. Pull it down as much as possible, like I said pin it through a little bit of elastic that is there on the cap. There's not a whole lot. All right, what have we got here? Ugh. All right, let's try brushing it a bit. Okay, as I brush it, the curl pattern's looking a little better. Check that out. So it definitely does need a good brushing. Okay. As I look through this, I'm trying to figure out like, what is the hairstyle you were going for here? It's looking a bit like Carrie White, like Sissy Spacek and Carrie. <laughs> oh my goodness, especially with this color, this dishwater blonde. All right, let's try and style it. Here we go, let's do it with these bangs that are out of control. Okay, and you see my stopper right here? I'm getting close to my first end, so I have my rooted hairline started. And this is our little stopper there, this blue pin. So I'm pulling little sections of tracks, and you can see like there aren't that many tracks in this wig, like they're all so spaced apart. So I really have to like, you know, invent hair to go there. All right, I got a wild tease started right now. I'm gonna do the other side of the hairline and tease out the entire wig off camera. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I started out the hairline on this and I teased it out. And girl, let me tell you, I found hair in this wig. This wig didn't even know it had. Like just from teasing it alone, I managed to get, you know, some sort of a hairstyle, but it was not easy. There's so few tracks in this that I literally had to like back comb the crap out of it just to flatten the hair down on the head, just so you wouldn't see like holes peeking through in the hair. So right now I'm just fixing up the hairline right now just to make sure there's no peeking of the netting. And we're gonna start our ponytail. Believe it or not, you can actually do a ponytail on a rooted front wig, and I'm gonna show you how. All right, here we go. All right, what I'm doing here, let me show you in the camera so you actually can see a little better, is this front section here that's supposed to get pushed back. I'm just back combing it more and more and more, and then take the second section here and back combing that more and more and more and more. 
you want to create a cloud of hair right here because that way it'll cover up all this obvious netting because we're packing it down like especially if your wig you have is cheap and it's really thin this is a good method of disguising it so that way people can't see obvious holes and it makes the wig look a lot fuller than it actually is I will say this, this hair, like it's pretty bad, but you actually it's, can work with it. It's workable hair. The only downside is that there's not a whole lot of the hair in the wig. I mean, understandably the wig was only $10. So I can't imagine what the cheaper ones are like. All right, and some folks might just wanna like run a brush through it and be done like that. Cause you already have a rooted hairline and it's got some volume, but I'm not gonna do all that. I'm gonna start pulling sections back now. All right, what I'm doing here is I'm separating sections so that I have a whole lower section here hanging down. So we can take this out and it's pretty easy to divide up because look at how much spacing there is in the wig. Oh my goodness. Okay. And some of it I'm not going to do because it's part of the wig. All right, this one I could root up a bit more. So I'm gonna come back to this section. All right, now we're just gonna go through with our brush and get it as smooth as possible. You don't have to rake through it, you just need to comb through it lightly. It's like we're smoothing it. All right, this is my first time ever doing a ponytail on a hard front, but I have a vision in my mind and I feel like it's gonna work. But if it doesn't, you know, just say I told you so. We're all learning here, kids. There, take a hair tie and tie that off. All right, there's a hole right here, but I'll show you how to cover that up later. All right, don't even worry about it. Let's start a back section. We're gonna take that and clip it out of the way because we're gonna use that in our final styling. All right, now I've seen a couple of you ask me how to do a rooted line on the back of a wig. This isn't the best way to show you, but I can show you what I mean. Now I have it teased down like that. I'm gonna take a brush. This isn't a good one for that. This one's better because it's a little more gruff. Good. Take it in. Go back and forth with the, your teasing, against your teasing in the back. And that's gonna cause hair to fall down. Like these little stringy bits, they're gonna be staticky. Just try and get as much of a control over them. And it helps if the back of the head here is all rooted together. Sort of like you're doing it in the front of the head, only it's in the back of the head. And there, that's creating a wall of hair here with some ends hanging down. That's gonna look like it's growing out of your head. All right, now let's connect the back and we can start our ponytail piece. All right. Girl, I am selling all these lace front wigs right now and I'm styling nothing but hard fronts, it seems. Should I start a hard front wig line, girl? Because honestly, <laughs> the way these videos keep going, you're gonna know everything there is to know about styling these girls. Oh, okay. Oh, I actually like that. Okay. See, that's what happens when you start styling. You see something, you're like, ooh, that looks good. So I see that's kind of twisting, so I'm just gonna twist the hair some and like roll it like I would a French twist. Yeah, that looks cute. And then I can just put that in there. Yeah, we're gonna roll it up. Because no one's gonna really see this, so I'm just gonna kind of tuck it in. So it's kind of like a regular old bun. Just gonna bobby pin the crap out of that. All right, I'm gonna pin this on. I'll come right back and we'll start our ponytail piece. Alrighty, I am back. I'm gonna do the ponytail part, but before I do, you may notice there's a hole here in the teasing in the front. I showed you a little bit of this in the Sasha Banks wig, but I'll do it again and show you. I clipped a little bit from, you know, where I'm doing the rooted hairline. This is all gonna be discarded hair. So you can take some discarded hair. There's a little bit of teasing in it, even better. Pinch it like that and drag your fingers through it. Doesn't matter if the ends are all frizzed like that. That's actually gonna work in your benefit. Put it against the area that's balding. And then take a bobby pin and pin that in. And it's gonna be hanging loose like that. You take some hairspray. And just rub that on. and your blow dryer too. And fuse it with the rest of the hair. That's how you cover up a bald spot on a rooted hairline. See, now you won't even know. 
the magic and the hairspray will lock that in place. And if you're really feeling, you know, extra cautious, just spray more hairspray and do it again. Yes, see, no one will ever know. All right, now it's time to put our ponytail piece on the back of this. Now, I didn't really feel like teasing out another wig, so I'm not going to. I actually like the hair pattern that's on this, so all I'm gonna do here is run a brush through it. So fold it under so that this is tucked underneath. And we're gonna put that right on top of there and let it spill over. Now I've done a ponytail in the past a long, long time ago, but it still holds up. Now normally, this is kind of the lazy way of doing it. I wouldn't, I would actually do like another ponytail here and connect them with another hair tie, but you can also French twist it like I did here and just pin it down extra secure. And you don't have to tease out your ponytail if you don't want to. If you want just a long straight fall, go right for it. That's what I'm doing today. In that other video, I teased the entire ponytail out to get it even bigger. But I kind of want a nice clean fall. And I'll put the link to that video down below for that ponytail tutorial. It gets all in depth and it's really informative. You won't want to miss it. All right, and right now we're just making sure this ponytail is staying on. I just crisscross that. And before I go any further, oh my gosh, you guys, I need to take a Ven moment. Credit to the person that came up with that in the comment section. I love it. That's even better than a Venmo minute. You're so clever, you guys. I want to take this moment to thank everyone that gave me a tip on Venmo. Here we go. I would like to thank Will, Lauren, Norman, Dylan, Laura, and Max. Thank you guys so much for the tips on Venmo. Oh my goodness. You're paying for my tacos and these wigs. Thank you, you guys. Still a little wobbly, so let's pin her a bit more. If your hair still wobbles, that's how you know treachery is afoot. Oh my goodness, I'm loving this. She's gonna look just like Neely O'Hara in Valley of the Dolls. There she goes, pretty as a pony. There you go, Walmart wig. I'm gonna cut the hairline and the back hairline and I'll be right back. All right, Miss Thing, I tried it on and we need to overhaul some things. So I'm gonna take this ponytail off and I'm gonna tease it out and make it a little bigger because it wasn't looking that cute. So I want this to be sickening, so I'm gonna take this ponytail down and we're gonna start again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is tease this out just a tiny bit. And I don't even have to put it on a wig head really to do it. All I have to do is just put it in my lap, pull my brush, and just give some teasing to the top of it. All right, I'm just brushing it through. I just teased the whole thing out. All right, I got it all teased out and I brushed out the bottom. So I'm gonna take this and place it on the head again and then go for size from there. That is much better. That's what I was going for the first round. I'm taking some bubble wrap and I'm taking a discarded wig cap and I'll create like a, I think it's called like a shenyang where it's, you know, a hair bubble, like, you know, a hair piece to create volume. I'm gonna put it right there. And we're gonna pin it down to the head. And I love this, cause like girl, you don't know what's going on underneath the drag queen's wig. Now you honestly could have done this with a lace front wig and been like already done, but you know I'm extra and I like to go the extra mile when I don't have to. So <laughs> we're gonna do this on a hard front wig, why not? Maybe there's a cosplay character you wanna do and it requires a specific kind of hairline. Now normally I'd wanna put more and more on there to make sure it's secure, but it's just for this video. So if you're doing this for yourself, add more pins, but I'm only gonna be wearing this for a few seconds. And now we add the hair on there and she is there. All right, I'm just pinning that down. All right, and if you want to get even nuttier since you have this whole back part here teased up, you could do like, you know, a huge, you know, hairstyle piled up like that. But we're gonna do a ponytail today and I don't have that many bobby pins, otherwise I probably would have. All right, I'm gonna smooth this out and put it on my head and I'll be right back. Welcome back, this is the final result. Oh my God, I actually really, really love it. Not bad for 20 bucks. <laughs> Look at that, that's how she originally looked and this is what I turned her into. Walmart, you turned me out. I have to say, this was a lot of work and as I was doing this, I couldn't help but think like, oh my God, this is what the girls in the 1960s had to do. Like they didn't have lace fronts back then or like they weren't readily available. They had to root their hairlines like this in order to make those crazy 60s hairdos. It had to suck to be a drag queen back then, my God. Not only was it illegal to do drag, but you also didn't have readily available wigs that were of good quality. Yeah, be sure to check out the 1969 movie, The Queen. You see all these great 1960s hairdos and they're all towering sky high for a pageant, a must see in LGBT history. But I actually really like this. Like this is only 20 bucks. These are $10 wigs, you guys. And I managed to turn this into a big old drag hairstyle. All it took was lots and lots of teasing and lots and lots of patience, but it's not impossible. These Walmart premium natural wigs were $10 each. Pros and cons was the price point was amazing. $20, I got my money's worth. 
comments, there is not a whole lot of hair in this. So I had to do like some teasing magic in order to get any kind of hairstyle to stay in this wig, you guys. I had to literally put hair into this wig through teasing. Another con is the wig cap on this is super, super small. I can feel this wig slipping back as we speak. Like I have duct tape and bobby pins, but I don't feel like it's gonna be enough. I literally ran out of all my bobby pins, so I'm really like holding on with like a bobby pin and a prayer right now. I'm gonna have to like nail it to my head. Now this wig is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let me just give it a spritz. <laughs> Now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag. But thankfully with Manscaped, you can save 20% off your purchase if you use my code MANSFIELD20. And I also have wigs available down below by moi, both styled and handset wigs by me. <laughs> Click the link down below to see how you can own wigs by James Mansfield Beauty. It's James Mansfield and I throw the beauty in for free. Now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't like this video, be sure to hit that dislike button twice. And until next time, bye. Click here and watch me transform Sasha Banks wig from WWE.com or see me transform Party City RuPaul wig. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll steal the third disc out of your Buffy the Vampire Slayer DVD collection. So click it.